Well, here we are at the air conditioner. It's actually a heat pump. And uh, I've got the old um, ZX1 Freon sniffer. And the first thing you do is you look and make sure there's not, um, you know, dirt and crap coated all over these uh, fins. They need to be pretty clean. And they are. There's a few of them that are bent over, but um, it looks really clean in here. Um, then you take the old sniffer and you start hunting. Freon. And if you bump the tip of this thing, it'll go off. But that's that's not what we're looking for here. Here's the header. It has a whole bunch of pipes you can't see on the back side. This thing's fairly enclosed. It would have set off if I had uh, found anything. So anyway, I've already done this. I'm just kind of doing this for the video. Um, you can hear the... Uh... See, there's one LED lit up if you tap it. That's what it does when it finds Freon. But tapping it's not a good idea. So, it's calming down. Anyway, it looks pretty decent in here. Um, I could cut this tie wrap off and take this last panel off for an easier inspection. And I suppose I could, but I don't suppose I will, because I'm seeing everything I need to see. That thing on the top is just some insulation. But anyway, um, this is what pumps the air into the house. Obviously that's the massive blower motor. Uh, and this is what... Let's see, so if you have a condenser on the other side, this must be the what? What's the magic word? Expander? <laughs> this is where the air gets chilled. And it looks pretty clean. The drain, the tray right here, right down in here, Looks good, it's not cracked. <clears throat> I see a lot of staining on the sign here. It's for the, um, uh, what is it? Um, all the minerals we have in our water here. And here's the cover I took off. It's insulated on the inside, it's all intact. So, anyway, um, I notice this thing's got a rubber gasket on it all the way around. <clears throat> but I don't see one on the bottom. I wonder if it's on the bottom of the... Okay, we're done here. Let's turn that off. Yep, there is one on the bottom. Okay. Alright. Anyway, it's um, <clears throat> something you got to do every now and then. This air conditioner's been working fine. Just sometimes you gotta look at stuff if you want to prevent uh, problems. We went through, you know, higher heat than this area has seen in decades recently, up to 113 Fahrenheit, and this thing worked great. I'm happy. But you just want to look, make sure there's nothing stupid going on. Looks like we're doing okay. All right, well that's it for my air, uh, my heat pump. <clears throat> it's working okay. It's only 97 degrees out right now in the shade, so it's, uh, it's a nice day. And it's windy, of course. Of course, that's what makes 97 degrees tolerable. All right, well, anyway, that's it for inspecting the heat pump and checking it for Freon leaks. Um, you can save yourself a lot of hassle getting one. There was a video online on YouTube where a guy took uh, like four or five different bottles, including this one. And I think out of four, four out of five tests, this one was uh, the most sensitive. And it is. It's sensitive as hell. 
uh, works on automobiles, works on everything. It's really terrific. Anyway, that's it for now. See you, bye.